Hey there, so today I'm going to be basically removing the straps that came with the uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife Proton Pack and then replacing them with uh, this Alice frame that I got off of Amazon. It was 70 bucks and reviews said that it was basically good for what it is. It's not like I would say a heavy duty frame or anything, but they say it's look, it looks movie accurate. So I guess that's really all that matters. Uh, so the first thing that we need to do is remove the existing straps and you can do that pretty easily. Just got to unthread. Thankfully the stand that comes with this thing makes a pretty nice work stand. And then for the lower side, same thing. I had everything all tucked away. <laughs> I hate all the, the loose strap. does really allow you to easily take that stuff off. Just be careful doing this because I have it backwards in the stand right now, so it could be a little bit off balance. So now we're just going to remove the lower. I think for these ones, I basically have to remove the whole strap. But in order to keep everything together, I'm going to go ahead and feed that through again. And same with this guy. Just going to double it back. And because I've kept the box, uh, I'm just going to put these back in that box so that they are there and able to be swapped back if I need him. With this particular frame, the, the straps are th uh, not as wide, so I can't use these thicker straps to replace them. Actually, yeah, it still wouldn't fit even for the smaller ones. I realized that the, the waist belt uh, was significantly thicker. But if I wanted to, I probably could use the waist belt on the frame. But I actually like the one that they have on here better. Again, just remove. And there we go. They are completely free. I'm just going to put this back on here. Because I don't want to lose anything. All right. And then... You'll remember that we were, we were given all of this hardware with the uh, with the original packaging, and that's basically to allow you to mount this to the proton pack. So let's get started. Fun to do this one-handed. But I figure once I get one, in the rest, 
will follow. I'm also not tighten tightening them super crazy because I don't want to put too much stress on the connection. And again, this is more just for looks than anything. Okay, it is 10 minutes later, and I'm going to come back here with a little bit of an addendum. <laughs> uh, so basically, when I was uh, first videotaping this, um, I had issue with getting this lower part tightened in. And what I realized was, is that this, which I had up in this position, was backwards. Basically, all three of all three of these specific mounting points, this one, this one, and the one down here, I had them all in the wrong order. Uh, the smaller one goes up top, then there's a middle one that goes here, and then down here, what happens is those spacer parts actually fit in a little hole here, and then you screw through here. It's still difficult to reach with like a screwdriver, um, but I finger tighten these, and I can tighten them with like a, a sideways knife <laughs> or something of that nature. Um, but then the largest one goes over here. And then now basically there's, there's no real flex. There's no real movement in, in this. And again, these are all just like hand tightened, not like super crazy tightened. They are just in there purely, uh, until they stopped moving. Um, but it is in there much more solidly now. So yeah, the hardware included allows you to Strap these two on the side, and then start with the smaller one at the top, middle one, and then the bottom one, and then you use those two washers behind the frame, between that and the Alice uh, frame, and then screw through here. And after that, you'll have the backpack the way it needs to be. So now, it's all set to go. Um, and as you can see, like, it does sort of separate from the frame back here a little bit, causing this to sort of like sit back at an angle, which is probably actually going to be more comfortable for you to wear on your back. But yeah, there you go. Now, <laughs> that is how you can remove the original straps and replace it with uh, a more movie accurate Alice frame. But yeah, there you go. Now I'm going to go. Let me know what you think. Tell me if you've had any uh, similar experiences. I'm going to give myself a little bit of leeway here for the fact that I've never done anything like that before. And the packaging does not include instructions for um, attaching this type of backpack, backpack frame. It purely provides you with the hardware to do it. But yeah, there you go. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.